Hi everybody, I'm Paolo from www.c40.cz and this free tutorial will teach you how to effectively use projection to independently stock your textures. No worries, I don't want to show you how to stock materials using texture text order. I really believe everybody knows the technique, but something more advanced and effective. Nevertheless, we will show it as well, because the tooth covers all really all options and possibilities we have. Okay, let's say there is an object uh, with a texture tag. So create a new material and change its color, for example. Uh, activate the alpha channel and load any black and white texture. It will play a mask rule. Okay, I will invert the alpha and apply the material to the object you used. It will add the second texture tag. Set the tag and we can feel it adjust its projection. We can use cylindrical or spherical or different UV tiles and so on. Uh, so choose the tag. We can adjust the projection size by the offset or line setup. We can disable or enable tiles options, seamless butterfly effect, and so on. Okay, let's try to render the scene. Yes, it works. But let's say there is a bump effect, and the label place over isn't affected. By the way, looks closer at the paper material I made. There are generated vertical lines. We can suggest the logo picture must be affected by these lines as well. However, it's not. But we can imagine another uh, example as a graffiti picture on a brickwork. Uh, however, it uh, does not work at the moment. So we must uh, use a different approach. I will open uh, the, the main material of the scene. And this material is constructed by the layer shader. And the shader contains many parametric samples. However, uh, the main texture of the material is a texture, but the texture is, is a baked parametric sample again. Okay, we can add any texture we like here, of course. Press uh, the image uh, button and open the dialog box and load the alpha texture again. Okay, and change the used mode to multiply and reduce the coverage, however it will not work properly yet. Uh, and check the text, uh, current look of the setup. We can control the texture position independently at the moment. Here is uh, proof. It doesn't work and the logo isn't placed well. We need another logo texture projection, something similar to what we had before. As I said before, there are many ways to manage it. The first of them is very, very advanced. Open the material again, set the texture and use right mouse button and load FX menu projector shader. The projector shader is really an extremely interesting tool because it can freely control loaded texture projection. Select any texture tag. It offers many parametric projection types. Just load a spherical projection, for example, I checked all its settings. The current projector shader settings really use the same setup. Yes, it's the same. Offset values, coordinates uh, setup is here, tile settings, and so on. Okay, let's say the texture text uh, tag uses uh, the original set projection. It uses UV coordinates and the logo is placed correctly. So we can set the same here in projector sh shader settings. However, it would take a lot of time. There is a much better way. So make a helper texture tag instead. Set its projection, use the projector shader, select the made texture tag and click to this paste tag command. That's all. Uh, go back, I will leave the multiply mode as it is and I will delete the logo texture tag, we don't need it anymore. And check the preview. It does not look well, but it's a preview only, not a real placement test. The test works great, I think. I think works, works and all strips we talked about are visible now. It's a printed logo on cartoon paper, so it works the right way. Because we can use the layer shader instead of a texture text stacking and combine all these samples together. Let's open the material again, for example, and let's say the texture sample I loaded uh, should work as a mask instead of a standard layer. And create a new layer, a simple color shader, adjust its color, and change the color shader mode, use multiply here and select the projector shader again and change the used mode here as well, use layer mask mode. I must open the projector and the loaded texture here, I must invert it and that's all. And it's really a very effective way how to set the stacking and independently projected setup. 
and the weakest point of the setup is the layer shader does not show projector shader shaders correctly in the editor view. The projector shader is not the problem. It's uh, the layer shader task. We can try it. I will load uh, the projector and use it outside the layer shader. I can use this material for the preview and paste the channel and turn off the alpha channel and apply the material to the object and the editor works well at the moment. It's correct. Just the layer shader makes it different and can't display it correctly. Uh, however, one more time, it's rendered without any problem. So this is the first advanced technology we have in Cinema 4D, but we have another tool as well. Let's say we need to rotate the sample. How can we do that? Okay, we can use the helper material first again. Uh, open uh, open the material, uh, open the projector shader, copy the loaded texture, go up and paste it here. It will replace the projector shader. And use the layer shader again. Open the, uh, the shader and we can use the multiply mode like before. I will invert the texture. So, uh, so set the black to 0 and white uh, to 1 and add a new color shader here and change the color of the shader and decrease the opacity value of the texture layer. Okay, and let's say the color shader is a different sample. It should be a texture, for example, and we would like to scale the logo down and tile it. It should work as wallpaper, for example. Or we can load a simple checkboard here change its order and increase uh, frequency values to 2 and let's say we don't want to adjust the checkboard sample itself just the logo layer placed above we want uh, to generate the logo layer as tiles how can we do that? there are a lot of ways the easiest way is set the logo layer, use right mouse button and choose the layer shader again open the newest layer shader and use FX and load a new transform layer here it's a very powerful feature because we can rotate our sample here, a sample inside of a material. However, we can adjust the use style and settings as well. Great. Go up uh, to the main layer sh uh, shader and apply the helper material we made. I will adjust the length V value here. I will render the scene and it looks um, as I expected. It means we can use the layer shader as a, a special independently working sample projector that can affect using these parameters all stacked layers placed below the effect. Let's try to use a different method. Uh, delete the effect, copy use sample here and go up in hierarchy and delete the layer shader and place the copy sample here again. And uh, load uh, the transfer effect here like before and use the rotate value, it will affect all layers placed below the effect. We can use two ways here. We can organize all affected layers into a new folder or use the way we have used already. It's the same like before. So use the current layer and place into a new layer shader and load the transform effect here. Or as I said, use the standard folder approach. It's easier but works by the same way. I'll show you, it works really great. I missed several features here. Go back to the main material of the project. Uh, let's say we are still using the projector shader and we need to rotate the logo loaded here. Okay. Stay inside the projector shader and load a new layer shader over the texture. Open the layer shader we made. It contains the texture of course and transform the layer as usual. Rotate the sample. And the problem is here. The transform layer does not, off does not offer any tile option. Is the key issue. We can't turn off the tiling here, so we need to use another way. Just load a new granite shader here, open its settings, and change the use type here. Use the circular shape and adjust it a bit. Go back to the layer shader, change the gradient mode, use the multiply layer coverage mode here, and go back and test the current state. 
it will work the way we need. The logo picture is rotated. All our unwanted corners are done. So we can test the result. Yes, it works really well. It's really great. We don't need to change the object UV coordinates orientation if we need to rotate a texture. But it's uh, not a good idea to rotate them. If we do that, it will cause the wrong orientation of the whole material, of course, because all these vertical strips would be rotated as well. It isn't the look we want. So the layer shader transform layer with the projector shader is a much better choice because it's a non-destructive way. If we are talking about the layer shader, let's show another feature of the layer shader. This feature is really very interesting because the layer shader offers a distortion toolset. I will prepare the setup first. I will scale the sample down. I need more tiles here. Okay, and use the effect tab again and choose distort effect from the list. So we can disturb the generated look using the effect. It's an amazing feature. Let's play with uh, the string value. We can adjust the used noise scale and so on. It's really an amazing way to disturb any layer structure you have and generate a more random look of the surface. So let's imagine you can use it with a brick shader, tiles and so on. You can use another distortion effect of Cinema 4D shader toolset, but the layer shader works really well. Okay, apply the helper material and test the result. And take a look at the material preview. It works better, but tiles are not shown well. Nevertheless, render the scene and check the result you get. And it's perfect. It's uh, without any problem. I will increase the V line value a bit. That's cool. We are on the end of the lesson. We have seen all possibilities these two interesting shaders have, I mean projector and layer shaders. These two shaders and their combo can be a very powerful solution in many cases. Thank you for watching and see you at www.c4d.cz.